Everybody doing good? I like that. I hope everybody talking to God. I hope everybody praying. God is everything. God is everything. Now, let's get it. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't get to miss no video that we upload. You know what I mean? Let's get it, man. This pastor, I don't know, man. Some of these, some of these people are just straight up demons, man. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Some of these pastors are straight up demons, you know? Doctrines of devils. Wolves in sheep clothing. Wolves in sheep clothing okay that's what these pastors are some of them okay some of them are so you gotta be careful who you're listening you gotta be careful who you're listening to what you are watching you know but just just watch out man just watch out yeah you know i mean let's watch this video real quick kenneth copeland is a well-known pastor and television evangelist and during one of his sermons he said god is the biggest failure in the bible These men, man, like, how how can I put this? I am speechless, to be honest. How can anybody talk like this? Anybody that claims to be a pastor. Like I said, man, these are demons, man. These are straight up demons. Because nobody, bro, nobody that actually fears God will say anything like this, man. Watch this. Who's the biggest failure in the Bible? God is. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me watch this. What you say? <laughs> and instead of acknowledging his wrong, he tries to make sense out of nonsense. That's exactly what they do. That's exactly what they do. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing with the devil and his little demons, right? They come, they put ideas in your head, seeds, okay, seeds. It may not be as big as you as you think it is, but it is bigger than what you think it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not sure if it makes sense. So they put this little thing in your head, but they know that it's not just this little thing. It is that big of a thing. So once they put that in your head, the more you think about it, because the devil's always putting doubt in people's heads. So it goes on top of all the doubts and then the confusions that you already got in your head. And then it just makes everything together. You don't, so you get to wonder what is actually true, what isn't, right? Like nowadays, things that are happening out here, you get to wonder what is actually going on. What is, what is the right way? What, where is the right direction in which you should be going? But you do know the right directions. But they make you think you don't know what, what the right... You, you know what I'm saying? They get you confused. For God is not the author of confusion. We all know this, man. Listen to this. You know everybody you ask, you say, who's the biggest failure? They say, Judas. Somebody else will say, no, I believe it's Adam. You know, I, I wouldn't say Judas is the biggest failure in the Bible. You know why? Because if it wasn't for Judas we wouldn't have been saved. You know, so it was written that it has to be, somebody has to, had somebody had to be part of this story. Somebody had to help the story go through. You get what I'm saying? So it is, it's like, really, when I look at the Bible, I don't think there is a failure in it. I just think the Bible was made, God, you know, it, since it's a word of God, it was made, to guide us in the right directions. So I don't I don't feel like there is a failure in the Bible. There's no no failure, there's no biggest failure. We only we are learning from the Bible. You know what I'm saying? We are learning. We look at the Bible stories and then those stories help us today to go in the right directions. See what people did back in the days, see what God, you know, the reactions that God had toward those people's uh actions. So we, 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 we learn from that. You get what I'm saying? So I, I don't look at the Bible like, oh, there's the, the biggest failures and this and that. No, man. I look at the Bible like the word of God, man. You get what I'm saying? What do you think? I'm tripping or am I tripping? Comment below. You get what I'm saying? Well, how about the devil? He's the most consistent failure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's not the biggest. Biggest one in the whole Bible is God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell something I can't prove the Bible. He lost his top-ranking, most anointed angel 
The first man he ever created. First woman he ever created. The reason you don't think of God as a failure is he ain't never said he's a failure. <laughs> Do not be deceived. God is not to be mocked. So everybody that's out there that's mocking God, man, a day will come you will wish you never done that. So anybody that's out there that's being part of this little movement, you know, repent. You know what I'm saying? Repent. Why you still can. If someone were to tell you God is a failure, you're supposed to be running for your life. Exactly. Exactly what I, I was just talking about. Everybody in the congregation should have ran out of there. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. You cannot be part of this, man. You cannot be part of this. If you know somebody is doing something wrong and you participate, you are as guilty as the person that is doing the act. Just because this dude is a preacher or a pastor does not mean you cannot call him up on his nonsense. That's what, you know, that's what we're saying. The Bible says you got to know the word for yourself, right? You got to learn it. My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? People believe that going to church, they're going to find God. They're going to find the true word of God. What is the devil doing? The devil is going into churches. He's owning churches now. He's been owning churches. He's been working toward getting taking over churches. You know what I'm saying? He knows, and it's because now they know that the church is, is a place where, where people can actually trust the things that are coming from there. Therefore, the devil is going there. The devil is using the people in churches to mislead the masses. Just because you go to church does not make you a Christian. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Learn the word for yourself. Get your Bible. Read. Read, read, read. Read it again. 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 Do not stop reading. And do not stop meditating on the word of God. So you do not get to fall in this type of people like this, this, this stuff. You get what I'm saying? Without looking back, why in the world y'all going to church to listen to a false teacher tell you God is a failure? That's exactly what I just said. Do not go listen to these people, man. Do not. When Lucifer fell, God remained God. When Adam fell, God remained God. In the days of Noah, God remained God. God remains God to today. God remains God to tomorrow. The same yesterday. Today, tomorrow, and after that, and after that, and after that. The same. The same. In the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, yes, God sir. remained God. Yes, sir. His perfection is not contingent yep. upon events yep. that goes on in this world. As you can see, Kenneth Copeland teaches that God is the biggest failure in the Bible. No, it's not Adam. No, it's not Judas. It's not even Lucifer. According to Kenneth Copeland, it's God. This is how people get led astray and no longer reverence God for who he is. Yep. And they also exalt false teachers yep. above God's word. Exactly. People, because it is easy to, people are easy to, be, to get confused. It's easy to get people confused nowadays. It is easy, super easy to get people confused nowadays. It is super easy to get people divided. You will see people that spend almost their lives together. It is so easy to get them divided, to get them confused, to turn them against each other. You see, do you know why? Because God is not there, man. You have that spirit of discernment. You got that God in you, man. You got the Holy Spirit in you, man. You will, you will watch, you will, you will know things. You will know certain things. You will, you know, people wouldn't easily control you because you know what is good, what is bad. You know what not to do and what to do. When to do it, when not to do it. Y'all want to know why people still follow Kenneth Copeland in spite of his heresies? 
and blasphemous teachings is Money because they have rich. exalted him above God. That's facts. Also, because he, he got money. See, he kind of tells them, these type of pastors, preachers, they tell you the thing that you want to hear instead of the things that you need to hear. These type of people don't really preach about sins like that. They preach about lifestyle. They preach about wealth. They preach about what God can do for you instead of who he really is. You know what I'm saying? What, what God can do for you, quote unquote, because they want you to go to church or things like that because you you are thinking to become rich. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going I'm to pray. I'm going to praise God. He's going to make me rich, right? This man, he owns like he owns airports. He owns uh he owns like bunch of bunch of stuff. Okay, so this that is what this is. That is what this type of preaching is all about. Celebrity pastors, people worship them, worship them more than they worship God. Kenneth Copeland is their Bible because whatever he says, they believe it exactly. according to scriptures. False teachers are governed by unclean spirits. Yes, sir. Exactly what I said earlier. The devil, he takes over these people. He goes to churches. He takes over these people. He makes them mainstream celebrity pastors. Then people easily fall behind them. They are famous. They got money. You know, they tell us what we want to hear instead of what we need to hear. That's where they get their doctrines from. It's no way possible that the Holy Spirit can call God a, a failure. failure. Thank you. However, the scripture says, the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Why are these people going to depart from the faith? Here it is. They're going to take heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of, of devils. devils. So if you think you can come into agreement with false teachers without coming into agreement with demonic spirits, you are deceived. Open your eyes, run for your life, and make sure you run into the right Jesus. So don't be deceived because false prophets and false teachers are leading people to a false Jesus. That's why they are in agreement with false doctrine because the false teacher have led them to a false Jesus. Watch and pray and don't be deceived. God bless you. Kenneth. Hard. Hard, bro. Hard. That was good. That was good. This, oh, what is this? Okay, this man is what? Truth on VDA Ministries. His name is here on the screen, guys. I found him on Facebook. Y'all can go to Facebook and check him out. He got some really nice videos. You know what I'm saying? He got some really nice videos. What do you guys think about this, man? Comment below. Comment, comment, comment. Subscribe. Share this video. You know what I'm saying? God is God, man. God is God. Same yesterday, today, tomorrow, after, after, after. Take forever, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. Yes, sir.